This is Dr. John Odette. Uh, today I'll be presenting a case of a cataract surgery uh, with placement of the Cypass microstent for glaucoma. Um, as you can see here, I'm beginning the case, uh, making a good capsule orexis. Uh, anytime we are considering placing a microincisional glaucoma device, uh, the first step of the procedure is always to perform meticulous uh, cataract surgery. If uh, the cataract surgery uh, has something uh, that does not go appropriately, uh, it then limits our ability to uh, place the microincisional uh, glaucoma device. Um, here I'm completing my capsular excess using utrata forceps. I have the eye filled with uh, new visc uh, for my uh, viscoelastic. I use a simple phaco chop technique um, with minimal phaco power used uh, to sculpt a small groove and uh, then I fracture the nucleus into many pieces uh, using my um, Cybell chopper. Uh, I will fast forward here uh, to the uh, final piece of the uh, nucleus which is coming out here. Uh, I then um, perform some uh, cortical cleanup using my uh, silicone tipped IA uh, device. You can see uh, the remainder of the cortex and capsule are very clean at this point. Uh, a Bausch & Lomb three-piece silicone lens is placed in the bag and rotated into position. I do like to perform um, cleanup of all of my uh, viscoelastic from behind the lens prior to placing my uh, Cypass uh, uh, device. Um, I basically clean out the entire AC of NuVisc and I prefer to replace it with uh, Helon GV. This gives me a little more uh, depth in the anterior chamber plus uh, the added benefit uh, of the GV comes out of the eye a little more quickly and easily following insertion. I place uh, some additional GV on, on the cornea and use my gonio prism to visualize the angle. The patient's uh, has, uh, head has been turned away from me. Uh, you'll see I'm focusing in on the angle. This is a uh, uh, fairly dark, uh, darkly pigmented eye. Uh, visualization of the angle in, in this patient is not great. Um, however, I am able to see the trabecular meshwork uh, and um, uh, the scleral spur. She does have some synechiae, uh, anterior synechiae, uh, which limits the view somewhat. I then in insert the uh, Cypass device and then turn it so it is uh, positioned so it will insert parallel to the eye. Um, I, tap a couple times to ensure I'm in the correct uh, space and proceed forward with placement. Uh, the placement of this goes in very smoothly. Uh, I then release the device. There are uh, a, a few rings at the end of the device that uh, I want to make sure I do not go in and insert this too far. So I leave it uh, at the proximal end and then gently tap it into place. You can see some blood extruding from the lumen of the side pass. Um, this was essentially perfect placement. I then go in and take out all of my Helon GV. You will see that <clears throat> this uh, blood that is coming from the side pass is uh, aspirated out of the eye. When the eye is soft you uh, can see a, a small amount of additional heme that will continue to uh, flow from the side pass as I remove my uh, handpiece there you can see some blood that continues to uh, extrude. Uh, I then pressurize the eye using um, simple balanced uh, salt solution uh, and irrigation of the wound and you can see this heme uh, completely stops. This patient did extremely well. She Prior to surgery her pressure was 28 and she was on three different uh, glaucoma drops. Following surgery her pressure was uh, 10 uh, for the uh, first two months after surgery, it has remained at 10, uh, and she is on no glaucoma drops. Uh, thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it.